How's it going YouTube? Got 4th Star TCG here and today I got another mail video for you guys. Uh, mailman just came by. I got a nice package of cards from Japan. Uh, it was actually in a box and it was a little difficult to get out but I have the pearl from the oyster here. This nice thick package of cards. You can see the first one right there. Really nice. Uh, so we're going to crack into this. I'm going to show you all the cards I purchased. Uh, this is another package from Japan. Uh, usually when I get packages from Japan, there are a lot of cards. I try to package everything together in one shipment, all the orders I've made through, you know, middleman services and, and, uh, Japanese exclusive card sites and stuff. Um, uh, so without any further ado, let's get into it. This I'm, you know, really excited about. Uh, this is a fairly large package, um, and there's a lot of really nice cards in here. Uh, as you can see, that's a thick stack of cards with three C's. Um, so, let's get into it here. It's taped. Um, so, I've really tried, I've been buying a lot of, or I've been buying more Japanese cards just because the prices on everything else are so high. Alright, we got all the crinkly plastic out of the way. Um, but, so, uh, this is many many cards i don't know the exact number but uh we'll get started with them in a second uh one question i have been getting quite a bit is like how do i find gradable cards how do i find mint cards uh, and it's really difficult it's something that you know i struggle with quite a bit uh, but the answer is really you just have to it's both a numbers game you know buying a lot of cards that are supposedly mint and knowing where to look um so, you know, I'm not going to tell you exactly where I look for uh, mint cards and, and what I've learned over six years of, of uh, collecting in the Pokemon card, uh, Pokemon trading card game. Um, but it's not, it's not overly difficult. Uh, and sometimes it is just a numbers game. Like, a lot of these cards I bought with, you know, just a couple pictures and, you know, maybe some of them will be gradable. And, you know, this is what you got to do. You got to buy a thick stack of cards in order to find a couple that are in uh, gradable condition. So without any further ado, let's get into it. I have a absolutely gigantic and beautiful stack of cards. Oh, that's so amazing. Uh, so a lot of these cards, I have quite a few level X cards. I'm really not sure what I'm going to do with level X. Uh, but at the prices that these cards were available for, I really just couldn't pass it up. Um, so I have one, two, three of these Gardevoir Level X. I think this is one of the nicest Level X cards. The artwork really works so well with the, uh, with the psychic type background, the hollow pops, uh, Gardevoir's got the hollow eyes there, if you can see that, or the hollow eye, that's the only one that's visible. Um, but yeah, so that's just absolutely amazing. Uh, really, really love these, uh, these level X cards. Uh, I think that, you know, they're not as good as EX, I will say that, but still really nice. I picked up, I think, a Mesprit level X. Do I have two of these? Yes, I do. Nice. So Mesprit Level X, again, those beautiful hollow eyes and that hollow jewel on Mesprit. The way that they do the hollow pattern on these is just so cool. But, yeah. This actually had a 200 damage attack. Wow. That's pretty cool. For two energy, I know that's probably got some, like, ridiculous qualifier there. Uh, but I think that's pretty cool. And in Japanese, a lot of these Level X cards were, were promos. They were in promo boxes and stuff. Um, so... I believe all the ones so far have been in sets. There's another Rhyperior Level X. I actually, I think I picked up a couple of these uh, in my previous mail video, but really, really nice. Man, just love that. And another one, nice. So this one, this this one's got a little like half a swirl there in the uh, on the left side. Pretty nice. But yeah, so these are from the, basically like the diamond and pearl, not platinum. Uh, you can tell because in platinum they started doing like the star foil pattern. And with diamond and pearl, the Japanese ones are just the regular sort of like cosmos or galaxy foil. I think it's cosmos. Um, I have a few torteras. 
Uh, and when I say a few, I mean one, two, three, and yeah, three, right there. So three Torterras. Um, I think one, yeah, one's first edition, one's unlimited, and two are unlimited. Um, so kind of nice to get that, both a first edition and an unlimited. I don't know if I bought those separately or uh, or whether it was unclear whether it was first edition or not, but these original Diamond and Pearl level Xs, you know, these are the original ultra rare cards for the Sinnoh starters, um, especially when, you know, hopefully we'll get Gen 4 remakes uh, coming sometime soon, but uh, I think these cards, it's going to be really nice to get these out of the way perhaps before those remakes hit. Um, might develop some more interest and some more value driving towards those cards. Uh, Darkrai, I love, Darkrai is one of my favorite Pokemon. Um, you know, see these cheap holo cards from Diamond and Pearl. Uh, this one, I think it's Masakazu Fukuda, yeah. So some great Fukuda artwork there. Really, really nice. And just a beautiful, beautiful holo pattern there. Fantastic. And Shaman Level X, this is, so this is, when I say that a lot of them were promo so this came in like a shaman half deck you can see it down there three out of 12 pts uh so this was part of a i think like shaman level x pack um so i think there was like reggie gigas level x pack but it's interesting because there was also shaman level x's in sets um and it's similar you know japanese has done this for a while they release a lot of uh ultra rare cards in promo packs or you know just sort of promotional you buy a product and you get a uh, an ultra rare card and then they're packaged in with the english set so i believe the english version of this set is actually or this card is is actually in a set and we got quite a few of them actually i think we have several yep two three and four copies of this card cresselia level x another one i actually this is a uh, this is another duplicate that I purchased earlier, um, but again, just uh, really wanted to pick some more up. And is it one? Nope, I got two of them. Nice. Are they both uh, both unlimited? So that's cool. I don't really, you know, the unlimited versus first edition in Japanese is is fairly difficult. Um, usually, unlimited is actually rarer than first edition. Sometimes first edition is rare. Uh, it's, you know, sometimes it's 50-50. There really isn't, like with English, there's, it's clear. First edition, a much more limited print run comes out first. Um, and the first edition is much more desirable. That's not the case with Japanese. Uh, oh, nice, this Cresselia. So I think this is, I don't know what this is from. PTR. So maybe that's like a Reggie Gigas half deck card. Uh, but I just, I saw some, I loved the artwork. Like, look at that. Who's our, this? Ah, uh, Mitsuhiro Rita, of course. Um, but yeah, just look at that beautiful Cresselia artwork there. Again, hollow pattern works so well with it. Um, I wonder if this is gradable. Ah, uh, no, there's a little ding in the corner. Yeah, so like, this is some of the things that, you know, you hope they're gradable. Some are, some aren't. This uh, Rayquaza Hollow, I don't know exactly which what this is from. Maybe look at this intense fight in the destroyed sky might be the set name. Uh, but yeah, really, really happy about that. And that one doesn't look too bad, so that might be a candidate to grade. Uh, yeah, not a lot of value in these uh, in these hollows, but still very nice. This beautiful Glaceon Atsuka Nishida artwork. Uh, I think I have a couple cards. Uh, from this artist in here really really nice again just that beautiful hollow pattern works so well looks like snowfall now we're into some nice ones uh for Ralligator, uh unfortunately uh, yeah so this one's off center um you can see the top border is quite uh significantly larger than the bottom border and that's like that's what you get with first edition dragon frontiers uh, it is not not a greatly it is not a great centered set uh anytime you're picking up these cards you know so that's even if this card was perfect i don't know if it is yeah looks like it has some stuff on the back uh, but even if it was perfect on the back this is probably just a nine or even an eight just from the centering 
Picked up a Walrein EX. This is actually, uh, I think I talked about this card in my uh, Mirage Forest video, my complete set. But again, a very, very nice card. Love the artwork of the Tusks Hollow on this. I'll probably have to check off camera. Yeah, it's very light, but the tusks are hollow. So love that. This one is a card that I'm really hoping is gradable. It's Leafeon Level X from Dawn Dash. Uh, really, really nice. This is a very valuable card in English. Uh, I think there's the population's like two in English. Um, but wasn't really sure whether it was. Let's check. Uh, there's like one little thing, so I don't know. It might be worth submitting just to see. Um, but very, very nice. Leafeon, this is a nice one. More Atsuka Nishida artwork there. This beautiful Vaporeon from uh, Unseen Forces or Golden Sky Silvery Ocean. Another level X here. Blaziken FB. So now you're seeing, so this is from... Uh, I don't know what it is. Well, it's from Platinum. Uh, in English, it was Supreme Victors. You can kind of see the star hollow foil pattern there and the, um, the cosmos in the background. So you can see the hollow pattern did change. These cards I'm really happy about. I'll uh, put down the stack for a second just to show these off together. It is the uh, Team Magma's Groudon and Team Aqua's Kyogre from uh, CP1, way back in the XY era. These cards are actually really hard to find. Uh, not crazy expensive, but just difficult to find in mint condition. Uh, I actually have both of them in PSA 10 uh, from when I opened the box way back in, uh, when did this come out? Yeah, way back in 2015 when I opened up a box of this set and I pulled both EX cards. Uh, but I just love these. Would love to have a couple more copies in my collection. Um, so really, really happy to grab those. I think we have a few more XY cards here. We got Mega Metagross EX. Very, very nice there. Gatling Slugs. This was in the Mega Metagross EX pack. Uh, another one of these shiny Rayquaza EXs, uh, the Redemption promos that you got. Uh, these, you know, they're, they're fairly common floating around, but they're, they're becoming harder to find. Um, so, you know, I don't really want to, I have a bunch of them sealed. I don't really want to crack the seal just to grade them. Um, I think I've already done that, but what do we got here? Is this one nice? No, it's actually got some... A slight ding on the back so I don't know I probably won't grade that just because you know this is a couple dollar card but another nice level X Star Raptor FB level X beautiful I think this is the only Star Raptor level X but don't quote me on that my diamond and pearl knowledge not super up to date beautiful Vioplume would love it I ordered a couple uh, Delta species hollows, really hoping that a couple of them are gradable, as, as the Delta species hollows are fairly expensive, to be honest. Um, so we got Vile Plume, got this beautiful Oma Star, Latias from Hall on Phantom. Let's check out that Latias. Uh, yeah, probably not gradable some stuff in this corner here and just a ding in the uh, on the side there so that's sort of like what you expect from these cars not in horrible condition there's you know no creases or anything in these um, but probably a good percentage of them are you know PSA 8 quality uh, but you know that's still near mint to mint condition which is really nice for these cards that are you know what's this 2006 14 years so Coming down the home stretch here, we got a Sand Slash. I think I used to have this card in a 10 and then I ended up selling it, but would love to get it back in the collection. And, you know, just super nice. Love, beautiful Mitsuhiro Rita art there. There we go. That's an amazing card. Tyranitar. Just killer. 
Again, this is another one that I've had a couple of in my collection. Um, I have it in a PSA 10. I think this is a little off center. Yeah, you can see the uh, the border there, fairly off center. Ludicolo, I've always loved this artwork. <laughs> Ludicolo just chilling there on the crystals. Uh, works really well with the uh, the Miracle Crystal set. I think it's super nice. And I picked up this sealed Meiji set tile. So this is a really interesting, I love this artwork and it's, uh, it made it into EX Emerald as a hollow, which I think is really cool. But always happy to pick up these like sealed old promo cards. Um, I've got like a stack of them. Let me see if I can, I'll grab it off the, uh, off the top here. Yeah, here's my like sealed stack right here. <laughs> I uh, got a couple Shining Ho-Ohs, and a Toys R Us Electabuzz, all of these, yeah, what I was talking about with the sealed, sealed Sword and Shield Rayquaza, Blaziken EX, and here are some nice uh, Meiji promos that I'll add, uh, that'll add the Sceptile to. Don't know if I'll ever grade those, um, I just kind of like having them for now, but nice. So we got the, yeah, the sealed Probably will just keep it sealed for now. Really cool. Um, and yeah, really cool that this has stayed sealed after 15 years. And last but not least, finishing it off with one last Level X card, Magmortar Level X. Really, really nice. And this is, yeah, it's unlimited. So this was quite the purchase and quite the package for me. A uh, lot of cards that came in. Uh, hopefully some of them will be PSA gradable. <laughs> you know, I just sent off my uh, most recent PSA submission and I'm still already thinking of the next one. But yeah, that's pretty good quality, even if like none of these were gradable. Uh, look at all those level X's. So that's super nice. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe and stick around for more videos.